everybody, it's Colette Baron reed Welcome to this week's mini lesson. And we're gonna be talking about selecting your deck. Now, there are so many decks out there that you could work with. It's important for you to select the one that resonates with you. It's super, super personal. Like for example, I'm not the only person that makes decks. I have some favorites here. My friend Gabby Bernstein has a deck. We have a super accurate oracle called the Chakra Wisdom Oracle from my friend Tori Hartman, Rebecca Campbell's decks. There's decks from Radley Valentine, Yasmin Boland, Kyle Gray, Denise Lynn. There's so many fantastic oracle card decks that you'd pick from, for you to pick from. And I know it's like, oh my God, what do I do? How do I pick? So here's the deal. You feel it out. You say like, ooh, am I attracted to this oracle? Now, not oracle cards are going to be the same. Some oracle cards are real divination systems. And I'm kind of fussy about that. So mine are always going to be real divination systems. The one deck I'm going to say that I made, which is called Postcards from Spirit, was different. This is not created as a specific divination system that you could use to ask all kinds of questions with and track your energy and do all the things that I want my Oracle cards to do. This was always created as if Spirit came as a postman to bring you a message for that day from a loved one in spirit, from your spirit guides, from, you know, from whoever is out there in the invisible realms. This was a special one card for the day only, and you cannot do readings with this deck. It's only a one card. So that's very specific. So you might get decks that are a hug from the universe, like a special message for the day. You know, it says, Gabby says, it's 52 inspiring messages to help you open up to the power of the universe. Like the authors are the ones that are going to say to you, this is what my deck is for. And so remember that, look at the back of it. Look, read about the person who created it. What do you feel about them? Do you like the way they write? Do you, do you like the pictures? <laughs> so there's artwork is important too. I always work with Jenna De La Rattalia, who's my creative partner in my Oracle deck. So you know what I mean? You gotta kind of look at the images, read excerpts from the book if you can, find a little bit out about the creator and find the one that resonates with you. So for example, if you came to Oracle School, my school, self-empowerment school, you would be using Wisdom of the Oracle, which is my teaching deck, and that's what it was created for. Um, and if you went to like level two, you would use all the different decks that I have created, not anybody else's decks. But I just really wanted to show you the possibilities that you have to work with something that means something to you, that's personal to you. And you can have lots to choose from if you look. I know there are thousands of decks out there right now. I mean, everybody's into this, everybody's creating them, which is great. So it's hard to pick, but I also know it's not just you that's picking, it's spirit's gonna lead you to the right Oracle deck for you. Remember, you're in partnership with the universe. You don't do this alone. So ask that question, which deck speaks to me? Which one am I supposed to be working with? And you'll find the right one. One thing that's really important to note when you work with Oracle card decks, especially if you like to collect them or you're interested in more than one, you might resonate with a very specific deck for a short period of time. And then you're really drawn to working with a different deck because of the way it speaks to you and the way the person has written that deck. So you might find that certain decks speak better to certain situations that you're asking about than others. So you'll start to really resonate and recognize the different languages offer to you through different Oracle systems and different authors. So pay attention to that too. It doesn't mean you're cheating on the first deck. It just means it's time to move on to a new one. And each deck has a different personality too. In my level two at Oracle School, we actually go through how we communicate with the decks and how they communicate differently with us. It's pretty freaky. I actually sometimes say, I feel like the decks are alive, that there's a presiding spirit in each deck that actually comes alive when you start to use it. So I know that there's only one deck that you could pick from right now here to try out my different Oracle card decks, but if you go to my website at colettebaronreed.com forward slash pick, you'll be able to see three different Oracle card decks, and then you can pick a card from each of the decks. And how you do that is pick, refresh, pick, refresh, pick, refresh, so that you're always refreshing the page so you can choose from a different deck and see the different feeling that you get from them answering the same question. All right, see you next week for the next mini lesson.